Got a chicken? You got a little chicken to go with a little piece of pie. And so, problem solved, problem is solved. We solved the problem, problem solved. Yeah! Now we can have our perfect picnic with a pig. The sun's shining, the pie's smelling sweet, and the chickens are running wild. Chicken running wild? Cat, did you leave the door to the chicken coop open? Didn't the farmer say not to leave the coop open no matter what because the chickens will get out and they're 100 chickens and that's a lot? Looks like we've got a really big problem. We've got to get 100 chickens back into the coop before the farmer sees. So let's all carry as many chickens back home to the coop as we can. Ready? Where is that pig? Okay, I know you're not used to solving problems, because you're a pig, but we've got a job to do, so let's do this thing. Picking up chickens, one chicken, calling all chickens, come to me. Pick a blue chicken, come out of that shoe. Picking up chickens, now I got two. Picking up chickens, one, two, three. Check the corn and check the chicks. After the farmer.
farmer checks the corn, he's going to check the chickens. Come on, chickens, get back into the coop right now. These crazy chickens think the farmer's a chicken playground. Cheek, cheek. <gasps> Cat, if chickens like games, let's have a chicken race. Okay, chickens, when I say go, run to the finish line where Cat is standing. One, two, three, go! See? <gasps> no! You chickens aren't supposed to come back out. You chickens are supposed to go in it. These chickens are driving me totally crazy. <gasps> So you're helping out the farmer today? I've invented these new plant foods to make the farmer's plants grow big, bigger, biggest. That is so awesome, Ramon. Thanks. Oh, um, Ramon, could we borrow those wheelie things you got there to get the chickens back into the coop? The chickens got out? Yeah, all 100 of them. That's a lot. Yeah, it's like way more than 10, right? Ramon is so helpful. He's always there when you need him. Always helping everybody out, anytime, any place, in any way. He's really, 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 really helpful. I do what I can. Hop in, little chickens, hop in. Wow. Back to inventing new farm products. He sure is helpful. <gasps> That's the farmer. Let's push these wheelie things. Cat, pig. Pig? <sighs> when you need help solving a math problem, don't ask a pig. Okay, one, two, three, push! <laughs> Pig and Cat can't push those big, heavy wheelbarrows, so we can't push the chickens. When the farmer sees 100 chickens out of the coop, he'll be mad. They'll be sad. I'll feel bad. I am totally freaking out. Cat's right. I should count backwards from five to calm down. Five, four, three, two, one. The pie. That's it! You did it again, you amazing genius! Mm. When we set up the picnic, everybody has something to eat that's just the right size, right? We should make sure everybody has something to push that's just the right size, too! Cat really is a genius to think of these things. He should be at some huge university. Wearing a bow tie and talking about algebra and the president and opera and the stock market and... <gasps> Gonna get untangled and check the chicks. Hurry up! Everybody find the wheeling thing that's just the right size. Go! Does this look right? No! Cat's wheeling thing is too big. Does this look right? No! Both their wheelie things are too big. Does this look right? Yes! We all have something to push that's just the right size. So hold on tight, little chick chicks. You're going home. Chick, 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 chick. Way home. Because we put big with big and small with small, we're totally moving 100 chickens. Math really saved our tails. Mm -hmm. chick, 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 We're here. Which means... Problem solved. Chief. The problem is solved. Chief. Chief. We solved the problem. Looks like my 100 chickens are safe and snug in their coop. So, can I join your perfect picnic with a pig? You sure can. You can have a perfect picnic with a pig. When little goes with little. And big with big. You can have a pear and apple plumber fig. When little goes with little. Big goes with big. And teeny goes with teeny. Let's all do a wild and crazy jig. If your little go with little and big with big. It makes me really jolly when I open my eyes and see everyone with something that is just the right size. I really gotta stop and shout and wiggle and try. When somebody who's super big. Itty bitty, he turns into 
a shake I do. Rock is So that's our perfect picnic with Ben. Cat and friends. And pig. Wow. We're little bones with little hands. Chickens were totally crazy, right? I know. They wouldn't stop running all over the place and jumping on everything and standing on their heads and... Bouncing on my belly. Swinging from things, doing somersaults and tap dancing. What was really weird was the pig singing. That pig could really sing. I know. It's not easy to do that. It's like... And cat! Oh, <clears throat> excuse me? And cat! <clears throat> and cat! Whoa, ho, ho, ho! <laughs> <laughs> A baby problem. <laughs> Stuff. Very important. We've got these block towers that absolutely have to be built. Gotta build them. Gotta. Uh, all right, we'll babysit. Yeah. We will? Bye. Bye. <laughs> Good baby. Okay, baby fox, here's the deal. Yeah. I'm babysitter Peg, and this is assistant babysitter Cat. Yeah. And we're the boss of you today. Say goo goo gaga if you read me. Close enough. You sit here and play nicely with these itty bitty baby blocks while me and Cat get back to our important big kid stuff. You're good at this. I know, right? Now let's get back to work. We've got black towers to rebuild.
Baby Fox! Baby Fox! Come out, come out, wherever you are! Oh. I wonder who built it? <laughs> Baby Fox? Um, Baby Fox, I think you should come down now. That looks kind of dangerous. Baby Fox, this is Babysitter Peg talking. I repeat, you come down right now. Yeah, what she said. He's not listening to us. No, not really. If Baby Fox keeps bouncing up and down and all around up there, he could fall and get hurt. We've got a really big problem. Hmm, maybe we could climb up the tower and carry him down. The pieces are all balanced just right. One wrong step might knock the whole thing down. Hmm. Now what? Yes! Great thinking, Cat! We could blow a really big bubble for Baby Fox to jump down onto. Yes! Okay, first I'll chew it up. Choo 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 choo
without solid shapes and diagrams, we were able to rescue Baby Fox. Matt really saved this baby. Yes, it did. It saved you. Problem solved. The problem is solved. We solved the problem. Wow, totally awesome. Problem solved. Fox, any trouble? Uh, no, no trouble at all. Right, Cat? Right. This tower's pretty high tech. How'd you build it? Oh, hi, Ramon. Um, well, you see, we didn't actually build this particular tower, but if we did... Diaper! <laughs> oh. You vlog knocker! Diaper! <laughs> <laughs>